Hello, Abraxas here, and I'm going to be playing some Universe Sandbox 2. Now, before I start the video, I kind of wanted to show you guys how to actually make the music as quote-unquote epic as my music. It's actually a pretty simple value under audio. You change the desired tension to 1, and it makes it always play the intensified version, because it's 0. Hmm. But yeah, the tension mode determines whether the music's going to be kind of dramatic or not. The tension increases depending on like collisions and other things like that. That's why the music suddenly gets all intense whenever you cause a collision between two planets or whatever. And you can adjust the song right here. You can go to the next track. It's the same song with less tension. Much more calm. Increase it. It starts getting more intense. So, there you go. That's, that's why my music seems different than, like, yours or everyone else's. It's because I adjusted that value at one point in time. Anyways, let's go ahead and continue the video. So, yesterday I did the video where I replaced Earth, or replaced Venus with Earth in its orbital path. Today I'm going to do that with Mars. I'm kind of curious what will happen if we put Earth in Mars's orbit. Will it freeze? Will it still be habitable? Will it go way too cold? Not sure, but it's still well within the habitable region. But it's at the colder end. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's go ahead and place Earth right here. Slow down time. Play and pause so I can adjust the values. And let's go ahead and bring up Mars. Go to motion. And let's start copying down its values. Okay, so we want to set this to kilometers, copy its semi-major axis, make sure we do the same for Earth. Go to kilometers, paste that in. Okay, the orbits should be the same in semi-major axis currently. I'm going to have to adjust the eccentricity for it to actually line up properly. Okay, let's go ahead and copy down the inclination, make sure we have the right kind of tilt in the orbit. There we go. Let's go ahead and copy the argument of periapsis, I believe is what that is. And let's paste that in. Now the orbits are almost lined up, they're just not going to be quite on the same path. Um, or in the same location of the path. Uh, okay, so let's grab the right ascension to the ascending node. I don't even know what that is, to be honest. But we'll paste that in too. Now the orbits are really matching up. And let's just adjust the mean anomaly, which I believe is just its position in the orbit. There we go. So now Earth and Mars should literally be like inside of each other. So I'm going to adjust that value ever so slightly. Let's make that like 2 degrees. That way they're not literally inside of each other. And let's just delete Mars now. Okay, so let's see what's going to happen to Earth. Go ahead and zoom in here, and make sure we have a good view of Earth by setting it to flashlight. I personally like studio lighting more, it just kind of gives it still a shadow effect, let's see. Kind of see what it looks like at night it's still a little bit, but it's not too important. Let's go ahead and go to motion, scroll down here, and set rotation lock on. That does not mean the planet's not going to rotate. That just means visually it's not going to spin around so we have a better look at what's going on. As this is a display setting, not a physical, tidally locked setting or anything like that. So, let's go ahead and hit play. Okay, so let's watch the climate and pay attention to the, the surface temperature. Let's make sure it's all orbiting properly, which it appears to be doing. Let's go ahead and delete the old Earth just to avoid any confusion. And let's speed up time. Okay, you can see the temperature is plummeting. Let's go ahead and go to climate, and let's view the temperature graph. Okay. It's getting concerningly cold already. It's definitely going to drop down to the negatives. See, the distance between Earth and Mars is greater than the distance between Earth and Venus. And Earth is already leaning toward... Oh, wow. Earth is already leaning toward the point of negative zero degrees, sitting at around 15 by default. 
So the fact that it's going to drop down probably pretty significantly, it's going to turn us into an ice ball. Just don't really have the greenhouse gases or really the pressure to keep us at liquid oceans, I think. I think we're probably going to plummet down to around negative 30, 40 degrees Celsius, and I don't know if that'd be habitable, really. Not by us, but maybe for life under the ocean it might be able to survive, but as you can see, the oceans are starting to freeze over. I don't think this is going to end well. Go ahead and speed up time just a little bit more. And there goes our oceans. It's probably still liquid underneath, especially if we still have like the moon orbiting around us. It's probably causing a little bit of tidal friction. But for the most part, if Earth orbited where Mars orbited, we would have a snowball Earth. Pretty interesting. Um, what is the temperature for frozen oxygen? That, that's actually a very, very key thing here. Okay. So it appears, looking it up on my phone right now, Oxygen freezes at a point of negative 218 degrees Celsius. I don't think we're going to drop down nearly that low. So, at least there would still be... Evaporated. Oxygen. I don't know what point it turns into liquid oxygen either. Let's go ahead and see that real quick. Oh no, that's actually the temperature that oxygen liquefies is negative 218 degrees Celsius. I don't think we're going to get ne down nearly that low, fortunately. So I don't think our atmosphere is going to really liquefy and start raining oxygen anytime soon. It looks like it might have just stabled out and now it's just going through some normal seasons. Nope, it's plummeting a little bit more. It looks like it's slowing down and is probably going to do another ramp upwards. Okay, so now it looks like we've kind of stabilized and we're now actually just going through seasons. So, oxygen's still going to be in the atmosphere. Um, I don't know how depri deprived ever th anything under the ice would actually be, but I don't think that much. I think there's still going to be a lot of oxygen down there. So, there you go. That is what would happen if Earth orbited where Mars orbits. It's going to become my snowball planet. Probably not be too habitable by us, but it will still have an atmosphere, so there is a chance. Anyways, if you guys liked the video, please leave it a like. If you want to see more videos like this, please do subscribe. It really does help. See you guys in the next one.